It's all right. The control box is open. Right. Um, it's clearly labeled inside of here. Power comes into here. in here. Ah, okay. Around the pump goes right there. Okay. Our float switch is going to come in right there. We're going to use one of those for our ground right here. Um, but what he's asking is, it could be any of them. Yes. Okay. It's a bus bar, grounding bus bar. Alright, so let's, this is the power first. Let's do this in order. Alright, so okay. I, I said earlier that um, well, we'll do the pump first, get the pump in there. Okay. I'll show you how the power works. Um, again, the polarity control doesn't matter. One thing that you have over there is a small screwdriver. It's right. a small little hole. That's easy. So that's just something easy to forget, and then you get down there and you're yeah. with a cord that looks just like this. It's a oh, six okay. foot MC connector. You're going to cut that in half. Cut that in half. Why? Because it's going to allow us to make our connections to the panels without cutting these. Oh. We don't want to cut these because it voids the warranty on the panel. Oh. We don't want to drill any holes in the panel because it voids the warranty on the panel. Good. All right, so you've gotten this, you've cut it in half. Now you've got two pieces, all right? Okay, so that I'll be cutting half, yeah. And cut in half. Okay. Now, we've got our, our connecting cables here coming off of each panel, right? Okay. All right, we're going to take, doesn't matter which one, we're going to take one of them, positive to negative. Okay. It's our series connection. Right. We now just took two 24 volt panels and turned it into 48 volts, all right? Okay. Actually, these panels operate at more like 35 volts, so we really have now 70 volts. You want to stick this in your ear? No, I don't, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 70 volts is, uh, they consider anything above My 50 wife volts. My wife you. <laughs> she, she come after me, right? Just, um, anything above 50 volts is considered to be potentially life-threatening. So this is okay. serious voltage as it's coming right. out of here. That's why we went ahead and cut this first. Okay. And now we're just going to do the plug-in connections. Oh. Actually, before we even do that, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and, we don't want to have se you know, 70 volts flying around. around. So let's okay. put this in here to the power first. Oh, okay. Again, polarity mutual, doesn't matter which one. Goes in. Okay, and our final connection inside this control box will be our float switch. The float switch, okay. Mm -hmm. A level switch. And here. that goes into the tank, right? Yep. So now, so okay. this, is, this is in the tank. If this is going into the tank, this, this wire is not long enough. Right, you're going to need additional wire. Okay. Uh, you don't, it doesn't need to be big, just enough. You can go up to a thousand feet okay. uh, away with this okay. um, without any problem. That's fine. Small wire. So this is what goes to the tank. This is, this is, this is, you're going to put this in the tank. In the tank. You're typically going to have a hole come into the top of it, very, very close to the top. And gonna have this in there. It's gonna float in the top of the tank. So that you want to have it secured at the edge of the tank, and then as it goes down, that's right. And so we're gonna hold on to that. Right. We'll go ahead and again, your ground is is the striped one. Right. Oh, okay. So you have three wires to ground there. Right. Two that's in the why, ground. Yep. That, that's why we have three. And these just actually uh, ground the. And this one here, they. Just, so it can go to any of the two there. That's right. 
This one just actually has a little, uh, you just push them back. This little clips back. Okay, and then we, uh, do you have a lightning arrestor on these? Is there yeah. a warranty? Okay, so then we just close it up. Yeah. Wait, wait. 